Bible, it's home from earth we go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day. I am. And uh, I've been getting up earlier each day to uh, try to do more with my life instead of kind of sitting in bed uh, dealing with pain issues. But uh, I've been getting up and working on things. And uh, since I'll be doing YouTube videos a lot more than I usually do, uh, I've been looking forward to that. So today I'm gonna share with you a Disney book. Actually, I'll be doing a series of these. They are by uh, French author Pierre Lambert. He does a lot of Disney archive type books, which contain uh, photographs of original movie drawings and animation drawings and uh, animation cells from Disney movies and uh, their backgrounds that go along with them. And uh, most of the books contain information about the movies. And uh, unfortunately, some of them are in French. So unless you know French, you'll probably have to uh, use an app to translate but uh, I know one company that sells the books actually occasionally sells a sheet that comes along with that that uh, translates to English for you. But uh, honestly, you don't even really need to know what it's talking about in the book. Uh, there are so many photographs, uh, beautiful ones too, and uh, they're very high res and very glossy. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes the pages stick because they're so glossy. So you got to be careful if you ever get these books. But uh, this is the one we're gonna look at today. And uh, I love the Snow White movie. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. And uh, like I said, this book features a lot of animation art. It even has a fake or remake serograph, I always say them wrong, uh, that you can actually pull up and you'll see that in this video. And uh, I have a, a bunch of his other books that I will eventually get to. But uh, today, we're gonna focus on this one. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Alrighty, so here we go. And uh, this is the outside case for the book. Most of them come in these protective cases. It's made of a thick cardboard. And uh, it pretty much looks like the book itself. I don't know what happened here. Um, it's, I guess, just yellowed with age. I've had these books for a while. I actually got them when they originally came out. Uh, these are all by Peter Lambert. I have a series of his books. There are a couple I've missed um, because I got out of buying books for a while. And uh, I'll eventually get those. But uh, I've been looking forward to actually sharing this with you. And here is the actual book. Also, it has some coloring on it. Uh, I'm glad it didn't actually go through uh, the book. Actually, I'm not sure what the dust cover looks like underneath. Well, pretty much nothing. <laughs> so on the inside here is the uh, page about the author. Um, he is a big fan, basically, of Disney. He's a French author. And uh, he has a large collection of animation. And within this book, it'll be both things from him and other items he's collected. Uh, a lot of big, uh, I would say, uh, collectors of Disney fine art uh, have a bunch of these. And this is this page, which I absolutely love. Most of his books are like this. This is set up like a traditional animation cell when the camera is shot. Uh, through the image, as you can see, it, the Snow White and the birds and this one particular column are printed on the plastic. And uh, normally these would be uh, colored on the back by actual paint, but this is uh, like a Saracel or lithograph type process. And then you have the beautiful backgrounds uh, that would have been done separately. And to make this you know, look more realistic. Um, Disney, Walt Disney, created an overhead camera system that had many layers, and that's he was able to create a 3D effect uh, by zooming the camera in, which has definitely changed the way animated movies were made. And so uh, the intro and upcoming pages are all in French, so I obviously don't know French, so I'm just going to share with you um, the pictures. There's quite a lot in the beginning. Uh, a lot of this talks about Disney and uh, the Snow White movie, so I'm just going to skip 
most of that stuff and get to the good stuff. I don't know what that paper's in there for. But uh, I'll try to, I turned my overhead lights off, so I'll try not to have a glare. Unfortunately, these pictures are very glossy, so sometimes the pages stick. But uh, here, uh, they usually, in these books, start from the beginning of the movie and go on. Or these are rough drawings that uh, give the design of the characters. As you can see, originally, um, the queen was more... Uh, human-like than cartoonish and then they came up with her as the uh, hag as they call her and here's Snow White sketches in her uh, tattered clothing and then here in a nice dress I just, so these pages are pretty thick so I wasn't sure but here's here's another just single picture of that one I just shared with you I absolutely love these pictures. Um, let's see. Yes, like a lot of these are from the Christie's auctions and a bunch of other ones, but these are rough drawings or concepts. These are actual animation cell drawings or camera shots along with this one. Here's a beautiful panoramic. Um, basically, when they do these, they have large paintings done and that way the camera can pan across um, from one location up to another one. And here's some beautiful cell and backgrounds. I love the way this is set up. Uh, for the longest time I didn't realize this was a peacock behind her. I just thought it was an elegant design. But uh, most of all the pages in this book are animation cells which were used in the production and occasionally you'll just see um, some rough ideas of what they wanted per scene uh, i love these it's kind of like a water water um, color effect and then the scary forest that was always kind of creepy there's another beautiful panning one where they her running into the forest would be going across here same with this one. There's a nice cell. It's just crazy to think this was all the way back in 1930s. Here's some more sketches. Here's another great panning one. So they'll move the camera up. I wish I owned a Snow White animation cell, but they're extremely expensive. All right, some of these pages have giant fold outs and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, hold on. I'm gonna try to do my best to get this on camera and I apologize for the wiggling of the camera. There is a big panoramic. Um, I've always, I've wanted to repaint this myself and do my own animation cell. Uh, but I, I just haven't gotten to it, but I would absolutely love to. Um, this is a very big panoramic scene, so that's really cool. And we'll move this on over. These books are pretty heavy. And we'll go in. Uh, that's it. If you get these books, you just got to be careful and always remember um, to try to make sure you put the page back the way it's supposed to because you'll get bent edges occasionally if you don't watch it. And here's more of a panoramic scene. I absolutely love these books. Um, they are pricey, especially now since they've been in print for a while. Some are more expensive than others. And you can uh, get, sometimes companies that sell these offer a English translation of what it says in the book. And there are actually some English versions too as these books became more popular. A nice cell setup and a couple more. It's a fantastic movie, I love it. There she is, dusting the house. Here is another panoramic. Let me see if I can slide this across. There you go, that's really cool. I'd love to be able to own this. This actually belongs to a person. Um, Name Steven. Let's slide this back. Try to get 
trying to keep it all in frame. Oh, I think I already feel another panoramic one. Whoops, it goes this way. Oh wait, that was the one I just did. <laughs> there, let's see. There, it looks like they're thinking of her as being a blonde there. There's some more pictures. I'm not sure why she's sweeping the uh, ground of dirt. <laughs> All right, so hi-ho. Now we move on to another section where we get to see the dwarfs or little people. I don't want to offend anyone who's a small stature. It's very cute. I absolutely love these. Let me move this over a little bit here. It's a cute little birdhouse. And here they are going to work. I can just hear that song in my head. I, oh, I will not try to sing because I'm, I can't. Um, I just love how nicely detailed these are. So cool. And uh, often, although I, I collect mostly animation cells, the drawings sometimes are worth a lot more um, than the animation cells because it's the original animator. Because most of the time, and people don't really usually realize this, back in the day, women were actually the ones who did all the ink work for the animation cells and the painting. Uh, it was usually only men who were animators, and later on, eventually, women were allowed. Um, there's actually a great book I will show you over here that uh, talks about women animators. Um, and get, It's a... Uh, Great thing to finally be out and let people know all the women who actually worked on a lot of these films. I love the Snow White ride. Um, I don't like roller coasters so much. I mean, it's not like a crazy one, but uh, I, I just like the uh, all the effort put into the scenes that you see as you go up on the roller coaster and such. And the very end where you get to see the hag. I love that so much. There's Jimmy uh, Dewars. There they are around the bed. And just look how nice that is. And usually there's two different people who work on the uh, animation. Actually, there's kind of three people. There's a beginning and end of a s uh, animation sequence. There's also animators who do the fill-ins. So, you know, they'll do the artwork steps that lead up to the last one. And then there's a cleanup artist who does the final drawings that are then turned into animation cells and then colored by the coloring department. And here's all the dwarfs. They had such crazy names for some of them originally. And uh, that's this is usually the one I'm thought as for my wife. <laughs> I'm grumpy. Not that I want to be, but... Uh, Here's some more beautiful pages. Here's another fold out. Let me see which way this one goes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and slide this. Look how beautiful that is. That's a really cool scene. This is when they're supposed to be washing their hands. It's a cute scene when they're, they're doing the hand washing. And uh, here is another background scene. And some more of the dwarfs washing their hands. And uh, uh, animators back in the day actually would get paid extra for any gags that they did. Um, so like, you know, the swallowing of soap and bubbles coming out, something like that. They would uh, get paid for their gags. Here he is trying to... Get the soap. And here is a, another one. I love this uh, the sequence of drawings. And let's see what's next. Oh, we get to see the queen now. This is her lair. I just love all the concept drawings. And here's her room. That's an awesome drawing. Let's 
some more cells. Actually, that one's a cell. And here's some more of her turning into the evil hag, which onto when Snow White is dancing with the dwarves. It's another great, great series. Here is, uh, I love this scene. I actually drew this uh, for someone else once. I did the drawing of Grumpy sitting at a keyboard playing. And uh, I used to love doing, drawing traditional animation cells. Uh, my hands are kind of shakier than they used to be, so I don't do them as much. But uh, these are absolutely beautiful drawing sequences. And they usually either, uh, the rough sketches were usually in red or blue. Um, those colors sometimes aren't, won't actually, especially the blue line won't show up um, when you scan something. So uh, it's quite interesting. Here's another great scene. And there she is going upstairs. It's like he's gonna cook himself. And here is the hag, or witch. Some great drawings. And here are some more. That's a great picture. I always enjoyed seeing how uh, characters develop. Uh, it's pretty wild from the beginning to what they actually look at look like at the end. Sometimes it's just nuts. And if you ever buy the DVD of Snow White, often uh, uh, the bonus material they actually show some sequences um, that were never shown um, in the movie. One being, uh, I believe, they were carving their bed. It's another great drawing series. Absolutely love these. And there's Snow White. And here comes the mean old hag. Knocking at the door. Avon calling. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, if I'm moving too fast, I uh, don't want to make this video too long. But uh, I want you to be able to enjoy the art and all these. I do. I have a bunch of other books I'm going to share with you. Not just by Pierre Lambert. I have a very, very big collection of Disney animation books. I absolutely love this picture. Um, I might redo this some at some point. Um, as some artwork. And here they are trying to save Snow White. There she is with the apple. She's like, come on, just eat it already. And there they are running in the rain. And this is just, this is the reason I never answer my door when someone comes knocking. <laughs> I don't want any bad apples. Beautiful artwork. I love the rain sequences. And these are usually done in several layers, so this isn't all done in one thing. They have uh, the dwarfs by themselves, and then the rain is done on top of a layer, and then obviously the background. So this could be three or four. These drips could be its own cell along with uh, the other ones. And here's the sad section when they think Snow White's dead. If only it took a kiss to bring someone back from the dead. <laughs> oh, here is another panoramic one. Let me get this one for you. And here is this beautiful panning animation cell. And of course, that has a happy ending. And I don't know, uh, I guess she... Who's going to take care of the dwarfs now that she's gone? Does she come and visit them? And, you know, where we have those kind of backstories <laughs> or sequels. And that is about it. And here's just notes throughout uh, what about all the pages and where the information came from and so on. And this book came out in 2000, if you're curious of when it came out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I always love sharing these books. I like to take them out once in a while and look at them. They are so much fun to and sit and enjoy the artwork that you uh, don't usually see when you watch a movie. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe and like the video. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So, bye-bye.